I'm Suzanne at the Dog Club, and this is Bella, and we want to talk to you real quick about ticks, which are those creepy critters that look like they're a cousin from the spider family. And our groomer has been finding a lot of ticks on dogs lately, so it's something we have to be aware of. Um, I just read a terrible story about a dog that was about to get euthanized because it was uh, not moving, had paralysis, and the tech was petting it and found a tick behind the ear that had been there for a long time. They pulled that tick off and within hours that dog was back to normal. So it can be a very serious thing, so we have to be aware of it and really be looking at our dog. So one of the things you want to do is really look your dog over. A big, hairy, especially black dogs are going to be really hard to do, so you have to just take your time, be very deliberate. But the, the key is too is to really look in those hide and seek areas. Ticks like to play hide and seek. So around the mouth area, the eyes, the ears, in between their little toes, uh, in their private areas and around their back end is very, very important to look for those areas. And then get preventative. So talk to your vet. I'm here at the Twisted Leash inside the dog club. You can get collars, uh, you can get topicals. Uh, and, and, and get them something so that if you're out playing, even your backyard, they're not gonna, they're not gonna be as susceptible. And then lastly, uh, when you, if you do find a tick, you, they make different tools that you can use that makes it easier for them, for you to remove them. So you want to just very slowly and deliberately pull that tick straight up and gently because you don't want it to break apart. And then you want to kill that tick. And you can't just, sometimes they're very difficult to, cat, to kill. So you can dump it in rubbing alcohol, or you can smash it, cut it. Don't flush it, and don't put it down the drain if it's alive, because it'll crawl right back up and get us. So, if your dog starts to act weird, get it to the vet, and ask your vet about what's the best for your doggy to prevent the ticks from sucking their blood. Thank you, and have a great day.